Welcome back to another NFL video where I'm going to be talking about a couple quarterback situations trending in different directions. One of them that's trending up is this Houston Texas te Texans team as they look very fun to watch right now. And CJ Stroud is a big component of that. Through four NFL games, he's averaging over 300 passing yards a game and is still yet to throw an interception, which is just almost unheard of these days, four career games in. He's also been an incredible leader already. There's all these reports that he's hosting his teammates with his private chef for dinner basically every night he's trying to form a rapport with them and he's been doing a great job he's been forming some chemistry with guys like Nico Collins Tank Dell basically CJ Stroud is everything the Texans wanted when they drafted him with the number two overall pick and he's even exceeding expectations at this point and at this point this Texans team looks like they're headed in the right direction with D'Amico Ryan's coaching CJ Stroud at QB some other young components they have in place Will Anderson on the defensive side of the ball. I think there's good reason to be pretty excited about the Texans. And there were some people that were questioning CJ Stroud because of some test scores that came out before he got drafted. But he looks very smart on the football field. He looks like he's going to be very good for a very long time. And if you're throwing for 300 yards on average through your first career four games without any interceptions, then it's definitely very promising for the future. It looks like the Texans already have a good one, CJ Stroud. And he's just going to continue to get better. The Atlanta Falcons traveled across the pond and came up short as they lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars today. And after this game, it's been sparking a lot of conversation that's been coming up the last few weeks as well, dealing with Desmond Ritter and there might need to be a QB change talked about or at least explored soon with this Atlanta Falcons team because this Atlanta Falcons team, it seems like it has the pieces to be competitive, especially in that NFC South division. It's not like there's any team that's miles above them in that NFC South, and they were my pick to win the division coming into this year. They've got a great run game with that Arthur Smith run scheme. Their defense got some much-needed additions this offseason and has looked a whole lot better so far this year, but what's hurting them is Desmond Ritter. If he was a game manager, then I think they could get away with that, but what's hurting them is the turnovers right now. You saw him turning over a couple times on back-to-back -back passes in London. So far this year, he has three passing touchdowns and three interceptions so a one-to-one -one ratio is not ideal. The running game has given them so much, but the passing game, not so much. You saw Matt Collins, a Falcons wide receiver. He was very frustrated with Desmond Ritter. He's also, it hasn't been getting guys like Drake London or Kyle Pitts involved, so it's been tough to get the ball in the playmaker's hands when it's not the running back position. They have Taylor Heineke that's signed to a two-year deal, so maybe he'll be the next step to see if there's anything that can turn around this Falcons team because they look really good. They might just need a quarterback change.